Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel here. Uh, it's been a little rainy outside here lately, so I'm gonna do a little more maintenance work on the robots. I'm gonna change some of the, I call them little hockey pucks and chains at the bottom. Uh, with all the sand and things get wore out pretty quick, so I'm gonna work on that today. Uh, we were thinking about doing some high moisture today, but it's been kind of rainy, rainy for the last couple days, so we probably won't get to that. So, uh, so it's kind of a maintenance day today. So, come along and we'll see what we get into. All right, we got into the robot room here, um, robot 106, and down here, under here, is uh, the chains we have to uh, change. So. Uh, it's, uh, we're going to move this robot ahead and uh, the chains connect down here and these white pieces underneath these black covers we will be changing so I'm going to go ahead and loosen those up and, uh, and then we can work on them a little easier. get these things all cleaned up, make it a little nicer to work on. So, what we need to do is, uh, <clears throat> see a little bit on here, take these two screws out and uh, they're held on there by a little bolt, a little piece. Then these here, what will happen is, is these links right here are stretching out and then they keep breaking. So. We have some uh, tensioner on the rope that we can keep shortening these up a little bit, but but they can only get shortened about one or two times until the chain's too short. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and redo the whole thing. Okay, I'm sitting down here now. I have uh, I got these old uh, these old I call them hockey pucks out. Uh, I took the screws out and I took the chains off. Um, I got a phone call, so I kept on talking to that, so I wasn't filming. So but no, I will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these chains back on, and the hockey pucks on, and then uh, once we get all that all on, we uh, we'll do a calibration of the of the teacups here. This little uh, piece just sticks right in here. Then we'll put that onto the teacup here. Got my trusty little T handled uh, Allen wrenches here, but uh, I had a buddy tell me I need to get a little battery powered one, so that would be a lot quicker if I could just zip these on quick. Maybe someday I will here. The only reason why we have chains on here instead of rope is uh, because of the, uh, the sand. So down through here, you see that where the chain comes down, and then we'll hook it to this, uh, to the rope here now. tiny little screw in here. It's amazing how this little screw holds that. And then tighten it up. So I'll go through all four of these, get all these on, and then, uh, then we'll do a calibration. All right, so, so these ropes here that hold these chains, we can uh, adjust the length of them right here. So what we're gonna do, since these ropes are starting to get a little wear on them, because uh, these ropes move every time it, uh, the, the teacups go on and off. So 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to loo I'm going to loosen all these these four up here, and uh, and I got a lot of rope here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna redo all the ropes. So so we're starting basically starting from from new. So so I need to pull them out of the of the little where the chains where the connect where they connect the chains here. I need to pull these ropes out and then tie a new a new knot. What holds these is just a two a little little wing nut here that holds uh, the ropes here. It's always fun working with a real soggy rope. <laughs> so if I get this pulled through here, I'll kind of show you what, what I'm talking about. This rope's getting kind of thin through here. It runs on a little cylinder, so it kind of gets wore out. Every time I change these chains, I don't necessarily redo the ropes. Uh, the ropes will last just a little bit longer than the chains, so it's about every other time I do the chains, I'll do these ropes. all tied. Now I'm going to pull these ropes back so they're tight and then I'll uh, adjust it on here where I need them. Alright, what we want here is, uh, is when these chains are fully extended, we, don't, we want the bottom of this around the same height as the bottom of the red here. What we'll do is we'll just keep pulling them all up to get about right there. We don't want to go too far because with that rope being just changed, that rope will uh, will stretch. There we go. See that one over there? So we're pretty good set right there. So then uh, we got to come over here and we'll put these. Uh, these little deals on here what we'll do is uh, put our finger in here where this uh, washer is just loop it around put the cord back in there and just tighten it down So really, there's not a not a whole lot to it. It's just a matter of time of doing it. Uh, you got to shut the robot down. That's probably my biggest gripe about it. And uh, you can see out here the cows are they're waiting to get in. So a lot of times it'll take me about right around a 20 minutes to half hour to get this done. All right, we got them all tightened up here, so we're gonna put all this excess back into the in the robot arm here for the next time. Alright, so now we need to calibrate these. I mean, you can see here they're really crooked. That's because uh, the bottom of these well, these little pucks here are so rounded off that, that the, these cups are, are out of calibration. So we need to get them straight up and down so whenever the laser hits the cow's teats, they're, uh, they're right on the money. So we're going to put little pipes in here and do a little calibration. Right here we got the laser hitting the uh, pipes there so then it'll tell us where we're at. Yeah, and I don't know. Probably can't tell on here, but we're off 0 .35, 0 .31, 0 .28. So, yeah, that's really all. What we'll do is we'll little screws in here we need to turn you can see that tipping back a little bit there about all of them need tip back a little bit and a little screw right in here one of them was 
pretty good shape, but we'll get them all tightened up there. Wiggle them around. Get them seated in there good. Scan it again. All right, got them all done. We have one of them right on the money and uh, three of them off a little bit. So we'll get those changed. We'll get them all ready to roll. Okay, we got everything all calibrated here. Take our black pieces out. And all they are is just little plastic uh, pipes, kind of. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're just going to calibrate the arm, and uh, that does all redoes all the cylinders, and then uh, after that, we'll be ready to roll. Oh, got to cut our excess rope off yet too. So the calibration. What it's doing now is it's taking the cylinders and extending them the whole way up and down and side to side so so it kind of knows where where it's at so so now they're fully extended up and then it's going to come the whole way to the whole way to the front here then too and once it comes to the front it'll be done system will wash and once it washes it'll start milking so that job complete so yeah come into the 105 robot room to uh to put some tools away got a little milk in the bucket so we're gonna take that up and uh put it put it in the freezer hello again um so i am ripping Corn silage stubble right now. Got the 8130 on our five shank uh, John Deere ripper. Um, excuse me. We did have the 8520 on, and the uh, hub seal on one of the front uh, tires is, is out, leaking oil. Um, so we uh, took that off. Got this on now. It's uh, it's making her work for sure. But got the GPS auto steer makes it nice. Um, about six about six miles an hour. been trying something a little different this year with our tillage um, growing up I used to always just follow the rows and and doing all a primary or secondary tillage or everything just kind of make it as straight as possible well this year um, especially we've started to try to go at angles so so you can see the rows of corn going this way, and I'm going this way. Um, we're hoping it kind of helps break up compaction a little more. You don't have ridges left by your tillage equipment. Um, of this project uh, if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that button and uh, give us a thumbs up thanks for watching <laughs>